do something that we used to do in the classroom and hopefully you guys remember it, but it's called Which One Doesn't Belong? And I found this one, I thought it was pretty cool. And we're gonna talk about looking at four different items and trying to figure out what three of the items have in common and then find the one that doesn't belong into that category. And it's important that you have to find something that all three things belong into. So let's take a look at the first slide. We're gonna do a couple of these together. All right, so we see a basketball, a brownie, a cookie, mm, and a cake. Now, if you look at that, I can see that three things have the same shape. Can you find the three things that are the same shape? If you guess basketball, cookie, and a cake, because they're all circles. So we could say that these are all circles, and the brownie is a kind of like a square shape, so that one doesn't belong. I'm also looking at it, and I see something about the color. Can you find three things that have the same color? Mm -hmm. Basketball's brown, brownie is brown, and a cake is brown. But which one doesn't belong then? You got it, it would be the cookie. And I can also think, hmm, three of these objects are the same type of thing. They're, they're food items. Can you find the three things that you could actually eat? <laughs> a brownie, a cake, and of course, the cookie. So the basketball would be the one that doesn't belong. Do you see anything else that we could say that three of the objects have that the other one does not have? I bet if you thought about it, you could come up with at least one more thing that three of them have that one does, that one does not. Let's take a look at the next slide. Oh, this looks like a lot of fun. Look at these four pictures. Find something that the three have in common, but one does not have. But three of them will have it, but one does not have. Look at the shape. Can you find three that have the same shape? Can you find the three circles? This guy right here has a circle. This girl over here is a circle. And this blue guy over here is a circle. So the one that doesn't belong is the star. Mm -hmm. Can you look at the colors? Can you find three that have the same colors? Yep, there's three of them that are yellow. We could say the star is yellow. This guy with the party hat is yellow. And this girl over here is yellow, so the blue guy would not belong. What about, hmm, look some more. What about, look at their eyes. What do you notice about three of their eyes? What do they have in common? Do you see three that have blue eyes? The star has blue eyes. This girl down here has blue eyes. And the blue guy has blue eyes. But the guy with the party hat, he has green eyes, so he wouldn't belong. Hmm. Look closely. Maybe you can look for somebody with eyebrows. Do you see three that have eyebrows? Did you say the star, the girl down here, she has eyebrows, and the blue guy, they all have eyebrows. But this guy up here at the party hat, I don't see any eyebrows. They might be underneath, but I don't think so. I think he is the guy that doesn't belong. Hmm, what about teeth? Can you find three that you can see their teeth? The star has teeth, I can see. The guy with the party hat has teeth over here. This girl, I don't see her teeth, but I do see teeth in the blue guy, which means that the girl wouldn't belong in that category of which one doesn't belong with teeth, because these three have teeth, and I can't see her teeth. Hmm, do you see anything else that we could say? Maybe with a thumbs up. Do you see three that have thumbs up? Okay, we could say the star has a thumbs up, the party hat guy has a thumbs up, and the blue guy has a thumbs up, but our girl does not have a thumbs up. We could probably do this with a lot more. So maybe you found something that I didn't see. On our last slide, I'm not gonna say anything. Which one do you think doesn't belong in this picture? There's gonna be more than one answer. So think about which, what do three of them have in common and the other one does not. And then see if you can find another one. Oh, I see one. Oh, I see another thing that could be different. Okay, guys, you can keep playing this, and when you get really good at it, you can even make some for your brothers or sisters or for your mom and dad. You can just draw four different things in your um, board and then try to figure out what three of them have in common. Until next time, you guys have fun and take care.